How's it going everybody? So in this video, I'm gonna be ranking the best and worst fast food logos. Just to preface, I know everyone gets worked up about their favorite fast food, like In-N-Out and whatnot. So just to be clear, this is just about the designs of the logos and nothing to do with the food. But that being said, let's get into it. All right, so I got all the logos laid out right here, downloaded some of the most popular ones. I know this isn't everything, but had to limit it somewhat gonna kick it off with McDonald's. I mean, whatever you wanna say about their food, I think the Golden Arches is one of the coolest logos there is. And we're gonna have to set, start it off right and probably, I wanna put it in S tier, but I really like the shape of it and everything. But sometimes it can feel a little bit disconnected, especially with some of the new branding they do and stuff. So for now, I'm just gonna put it in A tier. So as you can see here with Burger King, there's two because this was one of the most popular ones when I asked on Instagram and I realized that they're very different. And since they did the rebrand, you know, I wanted to include both. I think the old one is kind of too Y2K and it's a little bit weird and they tried to get too futuristic with it. So I'm gonna put that in C tier, it's not the worst, but the new one goes back to actually the real old logo they used to have and I really liked it and people online seem to be that was their favorite. So if we both like it, we're gonna go with what the people say, put it in the S tier. Little Caesars, I don't even know if everyone knows about this one, it's pretty popular over here. You know, they have this little Caesar guy, I mean, it's not technically the best. I do like the type treatment and the little characters kind of cool. It's a little bit different though. It doesn't work that well in a bunch of different sizes, but just because it has some cool character to it, for now, I think I'm gonna put it, uh, let's just say B tier. Taco Bell, they used to have cooler logos on their old ones, but this new one just feels like a boring, kind of shitty corporate rebrand. The type's not very locked up well. They could have lined up the bell and the, the T and the B, the O and the L. And the purple is just not really the, my favorite, so I'm gonna put it into probably D tier, honestly. Del Taco had to put that one right next to Taco Bell because, you know, they're kind of in the same uh, category. I mean, this thing really does look like someone just kind of drew it in Microsoft Paint. It's almost like cool in an ironic way, but I definitely know that's not what they're going for. They're trying to be a serious company and competitor in like the Mexican fast food chain. So I think we're gonna have to put it in D tier as well. So not a good start for the taco companies. Arby's, the food, it's gross. I don't like it at all. However, you gotta really like this logo. I mean, the hat with the A and how it connects and the way the Y goes and they added in the little curl on the hat. I mean, this is like, I think a top tier logo. It works in all different sizes. They have it on those big giant signs outside some of their stores. I really like the logo. I don't know, I think it's an S tier, but let me know what you guys think. Chick-fil-A, they wish they were Arby's, I think, you know. <laughs> Arby's did what Chick-fil-A wished they could and they kind of started with this, you know, curliness and they had something going, but the chicken and everything, it's just its just too weird. And also they have that weird mandala effect thing. I didn't think there was a K in it, but I guess there is. Ah, I'm gonna put it in C, C tier, just because it has some reward, like redeeming qualities, but overall pretty low. Krispy Kreme, this is one people seem to like online. It's pretty cool. I like how it's classic, kind of feels like a 50s style thing, an age back to like, it speaks back to kind of like the vintage classic feel of that glazed donut. And the way they brand everything around it with the packaging and stuff, I think it's very strong. And even though it's maybe not some people's favorites because it's not modern or whatnot, this little seal and everything is pretty badass. So I'm gonna put it in the A tier. Wendy's, I like the font of Wendy's, like the writing and everything, it's very fun, but something about the girl is a little bit creepy, but I don't think it's a bad logo. I just don't know if it really works that well for fast food. I know it speaks to like the owner Dave's daughter, Wendy. So there is some history there. And the cool thing about it though, is that this is supposed to be like mom, M-O-M, -M, which that's a kind of cool little Easter egg, if you would say so. Since it's pretty good overall and I like the way the red and the font and the color, I'm gonna put it in A tier as well. Ah, no, I'm gonna put it in B, honestly, just cause it doesn't work in all sizes. So Dunkin' Donuts, this one I use cause it's a popular rebrand also. They were Dunkin' Donuts. I've always loved the font, it's so round. It speaks to being a donut. It's inviting, it's fun, the colors are dope. This is kind of weak. I don't really like this. It looks like some clip art thing you get on like Creative Market. They rebranded just Dunkin'. If it were me, I would have just took out this part and kept Dunkin' Donuts, but I'm glad they kept the font and they added that little pink in there. So that's pretty cool. So I think original one, I'm gonna put in, in uh, B, 
but the new one, I'm gonna put an A tier. So actually, I'm a big fan of it. In and out. I know uh, my California people may hate me for this one, but I'm not the biggest fan of it. It's classic and it's cool. Font's nice. It's readable, but I don't know. Something about the shape of it isn't my favorite. But it's definitely not a bad logo, so I can't hate on it too much. I'll probably keep it in B tier. Popeyes. Their old logo was all right, but I really like how they kept the integrity of the font. Fun, playful font with this cool little badge. I'm honestly a big fan of it. I really like the orange. It's my favorite color. I like the way that they kept the fun font. And I think it's overall pretty good. And the way they do their packaging is dope too. So I think it's an A tier. KFC. Someone said that they were creeped out by this one and I can kind of see it. I kind of agree. However, the illustration's pretty tight. Like this is a pretty cool logo. And like I've seen them use it in a mono color on different scales. The red's nice. I think it's I think it's overall a really good logo. And I'm gonna put it in the A tier. Starbucks. It's cool, it's clean, it's progressed over the years and gotten a lot better, but I'm honestly not a big fan of it. It's never been that cool to me, and I know it's a mermaid and Starbucks, but they don't have anything to do with that, and the company doesn't even speak to any of that kind of visual language anymore, so I'm gonna put it in the C tier. Subway, they rebranded recently. I love this logo. Clean, simple, you come in, you come out, get your sandwich. I like how the arrows kind of identify some of the going through the line of getting your food, ordering what stuff you want on the sandwich. I think they really cleaned it up. They kept the fun colors and I think it's an S tier, honestly. So we got some pretty good S tiers so far. I don't know if you guys agree with these, but I think these are solid. So Pizza Hut, I put both because they're kind of similar to Burger King. They went from their 90s logo back to an old vintage style one they used to have and they really upgraded from like a D, C tier all the way up to S. The pizza, new Pizza Hut logo might be my favorite one out of all of these. So I'm honestly putting it in S tier. Super clean. The branding around it's fire. The new boxes look cool. And I worked there. And when I worked there, we had this. It was no good. This new one's really dope. This is bad. I don't even know what they were thinking with this. Like, look at how badly this is crafted. I guess it's kind of fun. That's like a redeeming factor. But compared to that, it's really hard to give it anything but a D tier. On Domino's, on the other hand, coming in from the other pizza chain, their new logo, this clean little Domino, super strong. The font is a little basic and it kind of is a weird shape when it's elongated like this, but just the little icon in itself, I really like it. I also like how everything's kind of rounded and cohesive. So for that, I think I'm putting it still in B, but if it was just the icon and they could upgrade the typography a little bit, I'd probably put it up to A tier. Carl's Jr. All right, this one, people on Instagram were very a big fan of it and I can see why. I mean, this has to be up there right next to in the S tier, right next to Pizza Hut. I mean, this is a very strong logo. I think the little face is so cool. It's been used by a bunch of different brands, ripping it off and things. I mean, it's like a cool smiley face and you know I like that and I love the font. It fits well with the face and everything. Overall, I think it's one of the best logos. We're putting it in S tier. Chipotle, if you saw their last one, this is actually a big upgrade. Their last one was kind of dog shit, but they fixed up a little bit, but the way Chipotle goes on around like this, it just looks weird. And this still kind of looks rough and not very refined. And the weight throughout it isn't very consistent with the line weight and stroke. So even though they kind of upgraded it, I'm still putting it in C tier. Sonic, I like their branding. Their commercials are kind of corny, but the logo is kind of fun. It's cool. I think America's Drive-In needs some work. It's kind of weird like that. It looks better on the light background obviously but overall i think it's pretty fun it's not too bad so i think it deserves a b tier jack in the box this one's kind of sad it's fun but it's a little too like techy with the font and stuff i don't know what they're really thinking with this it looks like something from an old like playstation ad or something they had an old one that was a lot cooler that just had jack in the box like in these nice rounded letters that one might have been an a even push an s tier but this one for me is probably a C tier. Panda Express. I've never been a big fan of this one and I think it's just kind of a corny trope in general to like name it after Panda. It's kind of weird and I don't really like how crowded it is. Gourmet Chinese food. It's not gourmet. I mean, we're not talking about the food here, but don't lie in the logo, you know? I like the little panda, but the badge and seal overall is pretty crowded and, and kind of bad. So I think I'm putting it in D tier. Raising Canes. This one, when I first saw it, I thought this is a really bad logo. It's very crowded and yeah, it has some like kind of 
bad design tropes like this weird futuristic oval thing here it's like they're doing a lot of different styles at once but from far away like it does kind of look cool i almost wish they didn't have chicken fingers there but i know the guy's all about chicken fingers that created it so that makes sense but it has some redeeming qualities so i'm still putting it in c tier white castle i like this logo it's fun it's original they didn't really it's a little on the nose with the castle but I kind of like how they kind of stuck to their guns. They went with the kind of old English. They spoke back to the medieval time. And I think overall it's, it's really dope. So I'm going to put it in the A tier. Panera Bread. It was in the top 25 fast food places. I don't know if everyone's familiar with it, but I left it for last because I think this is the worst logo that any fast food place has. This sans serif doesn't look good. The registered trademark's too big. This font's really ugly. And I mean, this illustration of this lady holding the bread, it's just kind of awful. So <laughs> maybe even want to create an F tier just for it. But for the sake of the video, I'm going to put it in D tier. But just so everyone knows, that's my least favorite. My favorite's definitely Definitely Carl's Jr. My least favorite is Panera Bread. There's the list. We got through it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and let me know in the comments below what you think about these logos. And if you want to hear more from me and get cool design stuff sent to your inbox every week, you can sign up for my newsletter in the description below. That's it for now and I'll see you next time. Peace.